going to take a bit of a break from the techno track today. I want to build an automatic pitch envelope. I was listening to some nice chilled kind of lo-fi style music last night and there was a envelope sidechain to the kick drum and it was on a synth so I can't remember but every time a kick drum played there was a little wobble in the pitch of another element and I thought that'd be something quite cool to build and has quite a lot of uses I think so you could do quite a lot with it it doesn't necessarily have to be a pitch envelope so I'm going to build that today um the idea in mind is that I want to play something and have it happen I'm going to be using this is my new favorite plugin by the way very nice piano and let's go ahead and build it so I'm going to take advantage of the new shifter device which is here so so already getting that um, warped tape sound so I'm going to add that to a how am I going to do this we'll put it into an audio effect rack and we'll just call this shifter and I'm going to put in an envelope follower. Uh, mix for live. Oh, just envelope. Envelope follower. And I'm going to put that into another chain. But I'm going to mute it. So we're just getting the, the level here. And I mean, that's already sounding pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and map that to the fine value of the shifter. So you see, we're at negative 100 cents by default. So we need to, um, this is interesting. Okay, so we need to make the minimum value 50, but this is only going to pitch up. Okay, let's bring the gain up here. Oh, cool. Straight away I'm just going to put a nice verb on it. Let's just get a nice chilled vibe going. I will use the hybrid and put this over the whole thing. We can put the hybrid reverb before the shifter so the verb is also shifted. I don't know how much difference that'll make. Maybe not. We'll put it after. Let's just choose a different reflection uh, imp impulse response. Bring that down a bit. So, how do I get this to go up and down? Well, one thought is we could make use of an LFO, perhaps, if we can map the LFO to the minimum and maximum values. Now, that would be interesting. That seemed to have mapped it to the gain. I want to map it to this. Or this. No, so that's not letting me do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a bit roundabout here, but bear with me. So let's group this into an instrument rack. And let's output. Gosh, I hope this works. Let's output this as noise. I'm going to mute that. And. I'm going to, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put an envelope follower over the noise. <clears throat> Is this going to work? I'm going to make the noise super short. So we'll just give it a really fast 
envelope. Okay, now I'm going to group this together into a audio effect rack. I'm going to call this shift up and we'll duplicate it. Call this shift down. Right. So this one needs to go up. So we'll go 50 to 100%. To 100%. That should work. Then shift down will go from 50 to 0. So if we look at these two here, they're exactly the same. I'm actually going to completely delete this audio effect track just so we don't get confused here. So we have shift up and shift down. And I'm going to open up my chain selector here and drag these across like so. And we're going to do a 50-50 mix. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. I usually go to 32 and uh, 96. <clears throat> So now if we go ahead and put an LFO, we'll put it before the audio effect track, just for a bit of consistency. If I map this to the chain selector, I'm just wondering if this envelope follower is going to still take the audio. It is, so no matter where it is, it's still taking the audio, so that's not ideal. So we'll remove that from the chain selector. We're going to have to use probably utilities before the envelope followers. So if you haven't, um, if you're not quite with me where I'm at, I'm um, getting two instances of pitching up and pitching down, and I'm going to be using the LFO to sway between them, um, and then we will map these envelope followers to different shifters. So, so now I need to go ahead and map the LFO to the gain of this utility. And this needs to go up to 50%, I guess. Very good. I also need to map it to the other utility. So let's go ahead and map it to this one. And this one needs to be um, doing the opposite. So this goes from 50 to 0. Now let's have a look. That looks good. Now the reason I've, just to backtrack a little bit, the reason I've used an operator with noise here is so we can have ind independent control over the decay. Um, we can use the rise and fall and delay values of the envelope follower, but I figure if we're just um, generating an envelope, we can get more detailed with the envelope of the amplitude of the white noise. So if we turn this off now, let's go back to the piano tech, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put the, I'm going to put two shifters here, one and two, and we should name these shift up and shift down. Putting them one after, after the other should be okay. So on the shift up, let's just hide the chains. Shift up, I want to map this to the fine tune of this. And the shift down. I want to map this to this one. Okay, so now we can work on, let me just, um, where's my LFO at? Here it is here. Let me just slow this right down. So you can see it's swaying into the different realms. And as it moves down, so we've got shift up. And we've got shift down. So now we can work on the amplitude of this. So let's give this a bit of decay.
that's kind of cool. What if we chose a random for the LFO? That means it's going to change quite suddenly in between some notes. And of course we can now do things with this amp envelope. For example, we could give it a tack. I don't know how that's going to sound. Okay, super interesting. Let's try this with some other sounds now. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add more groups here, but I'm just going to group this one. So I can just um, take that out and we can just put in, let's just go, let's just go for a saw wave, something nice and harmonically rich. Give it a different impulse response. something quite lush holes I would like to try this on a drum beat and remember we don't just have to use shifters Yeah, let's swap these out. Let's let's do this um, quickly. So what I'm going to do is go into my operator here. I'm going to remove the envelope followers from these two, like so. Let's go back to the instrument. This is going to be our we'll call this our modification group. So we'll go mod group. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach those two envelope followers, this is up, I'm going to attach that to micro 1 and this one here, we'll attach it to macro number 2 so now that means we can um, we can have multiple chains, so we could go pitch shift, okay, so that's all good, so if I map the fine tune of this to macro 1 fine tune of this to macro 2, we've got what the original let me just get the envelope of the white noise happening straight away again let's give it a bit more oh no, that's all good okay uh, getting quite complicated aren't we okay so that's the pitch shift that's all good let's create another chain and let's call this um filter shift i feel a device coming on here guys i feel like this is a cool um maybe another downgrade 2.0 style plugin so this is the filter shift so let's put in a auto filter i'm just going to mute the pitch shift so this will have two filters here these will hmm, now these will work so I've got two, we'll make one high pass, one low pass. We'll map the frequency of the low pass to this. And we'll map the frequency of this to this. This may not work straight away. So we need to maybe bring this up a little bit and this down a little bit. Ah, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. If we gave those some resonance, that could be cool. Mm 
Let's bring the piano back. What about both? the video there I'm gonna keep thinking about this if you can think of any other interesting effects we could add so we've got the pitch and the filter perhaps another one so any any parameter of any effect that might sound good with an automatic envelope when we have something fed into it actually you know what before I leave before I leave I would really like to um, have this play on a drum beat so for we'll probably just use a simpler here so I'm gonna put a mm, this is interesting because the noise is not really gonna play anyway let's just go for loop let's go for got any drums let's go loop drums <laughs> let's load this in here I'm going to have to play a note through here um, what's the best way to pull this off maybe if we do slice mode I'm just going to put in a little drum beat. Why is that not playing? Ah. Oh. that reverb off let's turn this off this is the original interesting so as I was saying before, if you can think of any other cool effects or any way to use this, do let me know in the comments and I will follow this up with a video tomorrow exploring those ideas. Cheers.